I was like, are we in a different room? He sat here for 10 minutes and didn't even notice. Well, so I got here, and then I opened the door, and I'm like, uh-oh. And I call Nate, and I'm like, you're going to be mad. <laughs> the tables are set up. Oh, gosh, all of them were? Oh, yeah. I just don't have Nate's number. So, but yeah, so, so the three of them were, like, over there. Oh, yeah. And that's where their chairs, like... I had to set everything up. All right, questions for Lexi. <laughs> Lexi John said that he, he doesn't even want to think about Saturday in terms of Super Bowl. <laughs> um, how do you think about it and, and getting to celebrate that? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something that's bittersweet. It's, I obviously don't want my time here to end, but I think that it's a time for all five of us to kind of celebrate everything that we've been able to accomplish. We've all had very different journeys and very different stories, but I think it's cool to just kind of reflect and celebrate. And then it also just gives you a different type of motivation going into the last few weeks of season. Ooh, uh, in this building specifically, hmm, I think one of my favorites would be last year hosting the Elite Eight and being able to um, get that win and be able to make it to the Final Four um, and have our last game in here be a huge, really big win for us. Um, I think that one was one of my favorite volleyball memories, um, but I think just every day having those practices and those moments with all my teammates has ultimately been the best part of these four years, getting to be in the locker room every single day and get to make jokes and bond with them is honestly the best part about everything. Where does last year's win over Wisconsin rank? Um, I would say probably it's like one and two. <laughs> Depends how much I remember from both of them, but um, they were both just really fun matches to be a part of comes to mind when you think about each of your fellow seniors? Oh, gosh. Um, a lot. I mean, they're all of them. They're my best friends. Um, Lindsay and Kenna have been here from the start. So just so much growth um, with them and so many memories with them. And then Mara and Layla were perfect additions to this historic program and they've been able to leave their legacy as just amazing human beings and great people and I think all five of us just really were worked really hard just to leave this program better than we found it and I feel like every single person did that in their own way whether it's being a great teammate being a great leader everyone has something that they're going to be remembered by you think about beating okay. Wisconsin earlier in the year. How did you leave that match feeling about what this team can be good at and do going forward? Yeah, I mean, after that game, we were really proud of ourselves, especially at Wisconsin. It's a hard place to play in, and it's a hard place to win in. And we left there, and we had executed our game plan. We were very good offensively. Bergen ran the show, and our defense showed up. And so I think it just showed that when we're all at our best and when we're flowing together as a team on both ends, um, I think we're pretty close to unbeatable. And it was really cool to see us kind of come together after, I wouldn't say bad matches, but maybe not some of our best matches, and play a top 10 opponent and kind of really dominate so it was a really cool win for sure what's the mindset been kind of this week getting ready obviously you had that Wednesday game but going into this game is it a change even though it's Wisconsin or is it just another day another, another team um I think we're we're really preparing for another hard matchup um just because we beat them the first time doesn't mean that it's like Oh, we're going to do it again uh we know it's going to be a battle they're a great team and they're they have great coaches. They're going to make adjustments from last game, so we got to be prepared to do the same thing and come in with the same mindset that we're going to have to take it, we're going to have to win close games, and ultimately it might come down to two points in the fifth set. You never know. So I think um, we're kind of preparing for a, a long, hard-fought match. And, you know, as the season winds down and, you know, your senior year, a couple games left here. Do you, have you been taking things differently or seeing things differently being kind of like this last run through or have you just been enjoying each moment? <laughs> I am really trying to enjoy each moment, but I think just trying to leave this 
program with no regrets. Um, you get towards the end of the year, and it's when things start to get a little more heavy. Every game is a little more powerful um, just because it's you win or you're done. And so just trying to give it all I have, trying to leave this program and get this program a national championship. And I feel like that's kind of my mindset is just pouring all my heart and work into getting our team to that final stage. Um, but yeah, really just trying to enjoy it, really trying to encourage my teammates to enjoy it. Um, even if they're freshmen or sophomores, they still should be able to take every game like it's their last. What has it been like for you to captain this team with Merritt for the last couple of years, and what have you seen from her as a leader? Yeah, I mean, I've said it ever since she got here that she's been an incredible addition to this team, and her leadership skills are unlike anyone I've ever seen, just her ability to care and love and uh, support those around her is something truly special. And it's been an honor to get to lead by her, but also get to learn from her. I'm always trying to get better too. And so having her always teaches me new things about leadership or volleyball life, whatever it is. So I've just been truly honored and grateful that I've been able to work closely with her to try and get our team to the highest stages. How has she made um, I think just learning from her, like you watch her interactions with her teammates, with her coaches, you watch how she's able to compose herself in moments and really be selfless, um, even when she doesn't want to. It's something not a lot of people can do. And she's able to just really channel something inside of her that has so much love and care for the people around her. And yeah, I would say that's just the most I've learned from her is how to be selfless, how to be supportive of those around you in more than just like an encouraging way and like a deep love and trusting way. Lexi, these last three games of the regular season, you have Wisconsin and you go to Penn State. What kind of a challenge, what kind of an opportunity is it at this point of the year? Oh yeah, I would say it's a big challenge. We have two top 10 teams that we had to play at the end of the year and um, those matches obviously hold a little more weight just because of we're trying to win a Big Ten championship and it could come down to one of those games. And so I think obviously they're both big matches against big teams, but I think it'll help us going into the NCAA tournament if we can get two top ten wins um, at this time in the season just because they're more pressure-filled and if we're able to just – play good volleyball over a long period of time and get two good wins, I think it'll definitely boost our confidence for sure. How has the pressure impacted this group this year versus maybe last year? Last year there was the weight of the undefeated run. This year you lose early, but you've pulled off 24 straight. So does it does it feel different? Um, it definitely feels different. I think just the maturity of this team has grown a lot. Last year we were, I would say, we still have young players obviously, but last year we had a lot of new players to the program and a lot of freshmen starting. So I think that pressure over time just kind of got – it kind of weighed on us a little bit. And um, this year I feel like we're able to kind of understand that and understand kind of the pressures that come with our win streak or come with – being ranked, whatever it is. Um, but I think we're able to kind of learn through it and play through it, and it doesn't have as much weight as it did last year. This might be the last time you play Wisconsin. You never know with the NCAA tournament. <laughs> um, but what has that – what do you appreciate the most about that rivalry and having been in it um, in some – pretty insane matches over your career. Yeah, I mean, I think that rivalry is awesome. It's two historic volleyball programs and two amazing teams year after year in the Big Ten. And I think when we come together, it's just great for the sport of volleyball. Um, it's a rivalry that I feel like a lot of people want to watch and a lot of people are invested in and getting to be a part of that and a part of just really fun, exciting volleyball matches has been definitely some highlighting parts of my volleyball career. And so, yeah, if it's the last one, if it's not, it's going to be fun. They're a great, a great physical team, so it'll be a great challenge for us.
Lindsay's had so many different roles and has faced so much adversity throughout her time here in Lincoln. How have you seen her kind of attack each new obstacle opportunity throughout her time here? You said Lindsay? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's always been someone who's up for a challenge. She never shies away from it, and she goes into the gym no matter what she's facing, and she gives 110% effort. She wants to get better. She wants to provide for this team in any way that she can, and whether she's facing an injury, facing starting, not starting, different positions, like you name it, she's seen pretty much all of it, and she's always been someone who's going to be one of the biggest competitors in the gym. She's going to push those around her, and, yeah, I'm just super proud of how she's came in every single day from – day one when we stepped on campus. What does Layla add to this team just in her short time being here? Yeah, I mean, Layla's amazing. I think she's an incredible teammate. She has so much support, like supportiveness in her, and she's also just so experienced and wise. Um, she's not like the loudest. She has a calm presence, but she just has so much knowledge about, I feel like, teammateship and leadership and just... She's played She's played at a lot of different programs. She's experienced a lot. She's been to a Final Four. I feel like she just understands kind of what a team needs and what it takes to get to that final level. And so, yeah, she's amazing. I feel like she adds a lot to the middles. She helps the middles a ton, and she's super supportive of them, super selfless with, her, with the middles. And so I feel like overall she was just – an important asset to this team and she's been incredible to lead by also because she is also someone who leads both on and off the court for this team for sure. All right final questions what do you think Saturday is going to be like on campus pretty big game here and also just down the street? Oh yeah I mean I think it'll be it'll be huge um, we're both playing Wisconsin right mm -hmm. yeah so that'll be fun I know I know Husker Nation will be super excited for both of them so I'm excited. Thank you, Lexi. Thank you. 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 Oh, yeah, there's a football game. I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> no, you're good. That should be. Did you put this stuff back? Or you